Today, I am here to tell you about celiac disease. Celiac disease is a lifelong autoimmune disease and the only treatment is a gluten-free diet. It is caused by a reaction of the immune system to gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley and rye. When someone with celiac disease eats gluten, their immune system reacts by damaging the lining of the small intestine. When you have celiac disease, gluten causes changes to the lining of the bowel, which can then cause a variety of symptoms. In young children, the symptoms may include diarrhea and weight loss. In older people, it can cause tiredness, or in some people, they may have no symptoms at all, but they may have another autoimmune condition, such as diabetes, which increases the risk of developing celiac disease. For anybody suspected of having celiac disease, a simple blood test can help to work out if that person may have celiac disease. The blood test used most commonly is called a TTG, or tissue transglutaminase antibody. It is really important when this blood test is done that your diet contains gluten. If the blood test comes back positive, then your child will need to have further tests to confirm that they have celiac disease. There are two ways to confirm celiac disease in children. Firstly, if your child has symptoms, their blood tests come back very high and they carry the gene associated with celiac disease, then the diagnosis may be confirmed on blood tests only. If, however, your child has no symptoms, they have another autoimmune condition, or their blood tests are positive but not very high, they will need to have an endoscopy. This means your child will need to come into hospital, usually just for the day, but sometimes overnight. The doctors will then put your child to sleep with a general anaesthetic and then take samples or more commonly called biopsies from the lining of the bowel. As you can see from the diagram, the lining of the bowel has little fingers on the inside and we reach down with a camera to take samples of these fingers to see if there is any change or damage within them. If you have celiac disease, Instead of these fingers being nice and long, they are short and flat, which can cause problems with absorption of food in your diet, leading to the symptoms of celiac disease. Once your celiac disease has been diagnosed, we will arrange to see you and start you on a gluten-free diet. It is then important to check up at follow-up how you are feeling, how your symptoms are going, and we would also take blood tests to check your TTG and other levels. If your diet is going well, we would expect your TTG to drop or go back to normal. If, however, your diet has not gone well and you're still having gluten in your diet, then we would expect your blood test to be high. Treatment for all people with celiac disease is a gluten-free diet, and we will tell you much more about that later on. For any further information, please visit Celiac UK. Thank you.